G'day trendsetters, way back in 1975 there was a song that was a hit that year called the Newcastle Song. The only reason I bring it up is because I've always liked the main refrain, repeated line in the chorus which was, probably still is I suppose if you listen to the song, and it goes, don't you ever let a chance go by. The song has absolutely nothing to do with what I'm doing here now and at the time it was a, a bit of a novelty song but it kind of referenced living in Newcastle in Australia at the time rather well. Uh, I'll put a link to it, there's two versions, there's a short little radio version and a, a longer version. I'd, I'd highly recommend listening to the longer version, it's good for a giggle. But on the strength of that, I've got these and I'll bring the camera in closer in a minute so you can see, but I've got these self-sewn Capsicans, they were a Santa, Santa Fe, Santa Fe Grande, something like that. Nice little, they're a yellow, yellow, medium heat, but nice flavor, chili. And I had a chili bush here, there's still a bit of the, the old dead bush there. And in the recent rain we had about three weeks ago, obviously there was a, a fruit that was been sitting on the ground here and I hadn't noticed. And with the rain up came all these little seedlings. So, back to the song, Don't You Ever Let A Chance Go By. I'm going to lift these guys up and put them into this little 10 pack so as I can grow them on and I'll have a couple for myself and give the rest away. Don't you ever let a chance go by. All I've done is, is fill this with the premium grade cells potting mix and I'm going to get my little trowel here, which is just out of my reach. Okay, so I watered them this morning and I've just watered them again just now. And all I'm going to do is just get my little trowel, little fork, and just gently lift them up. And the whole lot should fall apart rather easily. Just break it up gently and stick your finger in the potting mix. And that's it. If you can leave a little bit of soil on, or as much soil as possible on, more the merrier. But these guys are pretty hardy, they don't mind. Don't refill or tug at the, the plant if it's still a bit stuck. Just try and gently tease it out. Nothing to it. Don't have to, again, also you don't have to worry too much about the planting height. These guys will, a bit the same as tomatoes, you can plant them deeper than they previously were and that won't worry them at all. Look at that. I'm going to get a good 10 out of this. Uh, my potting mix is a little bit dry and it keeps on caving back into the hole. I should have probably moistened it a bit more than what it is. But we'll make do. There you go. That's the next. That's a good looking one there. All right. Just give them a good drink as soon as possible after transplanting. I'll place them in a lightly shaded area even just the shadow of a building for a couple of days so as they can get over the um, the shock of being transplanted transplant shock if you like and when they get a decent size I'll, I can either plant them into the garden in, a, in a, their final position or uh, give them away to uh, friends and family or anybody who wants a chili 
there you go don't you ever let a chance go by self-sown seedlings are a, a gift from heaven anyway thanks for watching please subscribe like the video and i'll see you in the next one cheers bye for now